I'm going to jump up on the table in a minute. Yeah, I don't know why you're trying to get so close, though. Did everyone have an awesome and productive today? I think that was awesome. Oh. You're okay. You don't need to get up or down or over. Down? I don't want to get back up in a minute, so I don't know what your deal is. What's up, y'all? Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all. We're all having an awesome today. Yeah, awesome today. I thought it was for the figure because we're going to take yeah. a massage. Anyways, we're going to do a black ocean today. I'm 18 by 36. I haven't done a black ocean before, so I feel like... It should be fun. It should be great. So, coming out, the Black Ocean tutorial for beginners. Come down. <laughs> So before we went live, Jeff and I went ahead and prepped everything um, for this board. It's an 18 by 36 rectangle cradle board, which you can find on our website, artistilldeath.com, as well as the colors we're going to use tonight, which will be Color Obsession Snow White, Bondi Blue, Tint from Color Obsession, and I think that's it, but who knows. Um, we spray painted that sand spray paint from Rustolium called Stone? Stone? I don't know. And then we spray painted black over it. Bleach stone. Well, the color doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Any, any of that stone spray paint will work. So that's where the texture of the sand came from. It takes a long time for that stuff to dry, so we wanted to just get that out of the way for you guys so you don't have to sit through that um but the full process will be on our other channel atd time lapse i went ahead and mixed my resin it is stone coat art coat which you can also find on our website or just let that com Tink. the cameras are much clearer so i think i'm only going to work with two colors and then the rest clear. The overhead might be a little dark, but I think it's because the sun just went behind the building. And we're working on black. It could be a something. All right. So first color I'm going to mix up is going to be Bondi from Color Obsession. I just want to give my waves a little bit of color just a little bit. So I'm like going to dip this in and whatever sticks to it is going to be the color I put in here. Dip, dip. Mm -hmm. This may end up being a little bit too light actually. I may do, I may end up doing a pipette anyways. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to see that. Even if there's white in there. What did you say? Mm. Mm. So I'm gonna grab a pipette. The Createx Illustration Transparent looks a little yellowish. Is that normal? The Createx Transparent looks yellow? Ours doesn't look yellow. I have no idea. You might got an old. 
I have no clue. I don't know anything about that paint. Um, clear skate art. Um, it might be the bottle. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, the first bottle I got was clear. And now I've, I got these two bottles. Um, I think this, this came from Spray Gunner. Um, and this is like a matte. And it looks different, but... I don't, I don't know about yellow. Okay, said so just place the order today for Stone Coat. Thanks for the discount. Well, thank you for supporting us and ordering from us. Yep. All right. So I want this to be a really elegant negative space type dark ocean piece. I don't want to have that much color in it. I don't want to have that much waves in it even. I just want it to be a nice accent piece on a wall. So the only two colors I'm planning on using are Snow White from Color Obsession and Bondi from Color Obsession. Um, I don't, I have a little bit of white on my hands from mixing that resin and pigment. So I'm going to switch gloves out. Because I'm going to be spreading the resin around with my hands and I don't want to transfer any of that pigment and then interrupt my negative space. I have ruined many a piece that way. Okay. So for this we started out with about 15 ounces. We'll see how far that takes us. Looks like it's gonna be pretty close to perfect. If not perfect. Hello Terry, hello Susan and cats. Katie. Cindy, Kay, Mattify. Mattify? Mattify, I got your uh, message. Your coaster will go out tomorrow. Shane, what's up? Shane, I think you're going to like this piece. I'm not saying it's directed to you, but maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? The one I'm working on or the lip yeah. piece from yesterday? Another one. He does have a lot of aquatic art. You know, he's probably sitting on his computer like, dang it, y'all, I have enough of your stuff on my walls. All right, let's get this clear spread out. Where in a normal ocean piece you'd be putting blues out here, I'm just using clear because I want it to be black ocean with just a hint of blue um, where my waves crash. I've been seeing this piece for a while. Like, I don't know if you guys operate this way, but Jeff and I oftentimes will have an idea for a piece and We'll like work it in our heads for a little while before we attempt it. It looks well, super cool right now, like shiny, and then that, the sand, the texture. I might keep this. I don't know about, I don't know y'all. I might have to keep this one. I love that, I love that, that it went like that, that little. Do you want me to put one back in? I think so. I think I want you to do like a, just like a, a little out and then, and then another maybe. What do you think? What do you think that would just be? No, just do a little one. So I'm not going to do that till after I do the waves. Then I'll go back in and do one of those because when I'm pushing the waves back with the heat, it's going to end up pushing that gap yeah. together.
Jeff and I like working with like white on white and black on black anyway, so this definitely fits our Oh, because I said he's probably sitting there saying, dang it, I have enough of y'all stuff cluttering my house. Emma said, Erica is doing a commission for Jeff. Basically. I really like, I love matte and shiny. I really like that. This is going to be awesome. And it's going to be very subtle too because you'll be able to see the teal only because of the white. Popping bubbles, y'all. Thank you, Pamela. You guys got bad weather down there. You could do one with green and underwater. Now we can see what's happening. Kelly Quincy? I haven't seen him in here for a while. So what we did, I'll just, I'll just re-explain this. What we did is we took one of our uh, 18 by 36 uh, cradle boards, just the regular cradle board. I uh, just took some flat black house paint, painted it, let it dry. Then I took... Uh, Any of this will work if you're just going to paint it. Um, I just used uh, Stone Texture by Rust-Oleum American Accents um, and sprayed it just where the sand is. Let that dry and then spray painted it flat black. Go ahead. I'm done. Um, and then just let it dry, and then she's doing that now. I'm just putting this white where the resin meets the mat. Yeah, they can, they seem like perfect right there on the small camera. I'm working on a geo that I cut out of plywood. Do I need to put a layer of resin to prevent bubbles? I I would, or you can use uh, polycrylic. You can use polycrylic, which is really thin and perfect for stuff like that, and it's a little cheaper. Um, what we normally do is just get a good, uh, a good like one of the. Uh, I would do a roller brush. I wouldn't do a. A paintbrush. I would do a roller brush so it pushes it down in the cracks and all the crevices and stuff. Um, get a good amount on there and just roll the whole thing. Let it dry, and then do it one more time, just to just so you know that all those little cracks and stuff are filled. Why am I so nervous about this? How many times have I done ocean stuff? It's the same. It's the exact same, but with black. Awesome. 
Should I put the blue on this one or just the next one? Um, I, I would do both. I would do it all. Just a little bit, though. That's going to be super light. I can always add another drop in there. Let's add a drop of uh, Blue Lagoon. Put two drops, by the way. Thank you, Nene. Yeah, give us some thumbs up, y'all. We need some thumbs up. It's Sunday. Saturday. Come in the room, Saturday. hit the thumbs up. Saturday. It was Saturday? I think so. Why did I think it was Sunday? Because your friends wanted you to come out drinking during the daytime. Uh, that's right, because I gotta go to Lakers tomorrow. Is there an E on the end? No. It's Daniel. Give us some bananas too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was going to show you guys the, the lip piece. Let's see here. Got it right. Chia. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. You can't even mess with that. You guys see all the colors of the rainbow? All them there colors. Dig them. Dig them. All right, I'm gonna push these waves back. I'm just gonna, as soon as the wave starts to move, I'm gonna move on. I'm pushing it, but like in the middle of my line of white is where I'm aiming. Before I do that. How much? I don't know, I don't know if we're doing the yeah, they don't even care. They knock stuff over, and then they go play with it. All those paintbrushes. Hold on. Okay, give them a price. Nope, that's not yours. Drop it. Try to do it. Jack and run. Surprise, Bowie didn't meet him there. Like, if I grab one and you grab one, he can't catch us both. So on the price of that, I'm not sure because I don't know if we're putting LEDs behind it. As is price, probably I don't know, three fifty, four, three seventy five, somewhere in there. <laughs> Either a thousand or three fifty. Make me an offer. They need you to see this before I move on, just so you know. That'll be my project for my next day off. Hey, before you sit down. Um, Cause I put that blue, it pushed. Oh yeah, that's fun. And I like how it like meets like that and has those like, like this yeah. part. I'm still gonna make it sell, but yeah. I just wanted you to see this. Okay. Let's get with it.
reason this isn't selling like I want it to. So what I think I'm gonna do is hybrid some of my white with the base tint from Color Passion. I often find that it doesn't do what I want it to on bigger pieces because, you know, if you do something on like a coaster and then you upscale it to um, like a regular canvas size, you're like, what? That's not what I was thinking. What I'm going to do is take my hybrid color, and you can't even see that much of my blue that's there. So I'm going to. Did you come out of sale or something? I released some new colors. So I'm going to put the blue back in, and I'm going to run this Color Passion Hybrid right on the inside of the blue. And I'm gonna put my regular white back down as well on this front edge. Oh. All right, so can we buy the lip piece so we can Decorate it ourselves. Sure. You can. You can do that. All right. Sorry, I missed a bunch of Megan lives in Black Beach in New Zealand called Paiha. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah. Like, so nice. And will be able to ship to Australia. Of course. Yeah, we, we ship everywhere. We try to ship wherever we can. push it. So I'm let it cool off for a minute and then I'm going to do the long push. I would just you know, let it cool and then maybe push the couple this way. Like, push the pits. What is that? I see pits where? In this? <laughs> Man, look at that blue. What is that? Is that like glowing? No, because I put that Bondi first and then we decided it was too light, so I put the Blue Lagoon in it and ran another line. That looks crazy. I like how this looks, so I'm thinking about stretching a little bit more. 
Yeah, that, that, all that other stuff just looks very... Address those first. Can you do that? Can you get this out of my ear? We need to find one. We'll use one sword piece. You get this out of my ear. All right, so we're going to interrupt yeah. this. So, Charlie Pinch is going to go on the list. Sure. Right wing cats, a big old wide. And you're just making a new one. It's great. All right. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it's a little bit. And maybe just now, and now just do a, a line to that point right there too. Like, you know, like like it's uh, kind of look at it on the camera. Like I was thinking maybe taking a line right here, and then you know, because it was. I think I'm going to just add another line with blue right there and push it back. Because that blue is on the darker side. So you think it'll look okay to do another wave? I don't see why not, but yeah, because then don't they kind of overlap each other? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna do another wave. Then we're going to follow it up with some of this blue mixture. Which looks fun in and of itself because this, which I don't even know if you can see on there. B, I need your face. I'm looking. You can't see that, I bet. I can see the blue like really light? It looks like x-ray. Like, I, it's gonna give you an idea. Why, why does it have to do that? Oh yeah, that's fun. Wow. Now I'm gonna put in between those two my... Just resin in the house. Hey! I have a lot of exciting stuff coming from them. Some brand new uh, chameleons really soon. And restocking their resin because we sold out.
fun. That looks good. Like it looks like wave going over another wave. I'm just not excited about how these this is meeting up right here. I think I want to blow this back just a little bit. Amy Johnson says, is the white on the bottom not moving much because of the texture of the board, or did you let the resin rest a little? The white on the bottom. That's all, that's all fresh resin. This looks so interesting. Uh, I'll remember. Nay, nay. Kelly, uh, that's your piece, bud. You want it? Sure. You got one of our first glow pieces. His favorite color is green, so I'll never forget. I'm letting this rest for a minute. Just Rosen says, how is everyone? We are fantastic. Hope you are doing well. That's so fun. It looks like a wave. I'm not going to do much, which is fine. I just don't like this. It looks, it looks good. Like it looks like it looks like a wave. Like it's all in there. Like it looks awesome. It just looks like a wave coming into a wave. It's like cloud. It's like you can't, you don't think you can draw it because it won't look like a real cloud because it's a real cloud. Yeah. 89 people in here. What's up, everybody? Wow. Uh, Maddie Five, she did put, she put, uh, she put a white, I'm sorry, a clear base down, just where she wants the uh, the resin to be. Thank you, Kelly. Um, yeah, just just text us to. Him. Info, just so we have it on on, uh, on the phone. Have a good night, bud. Today from Australia, with that too. Evelyn. I was like, why isn't this moving? I forgot I turned the heat down. And it says, will torching the light do anything so wide? Torching it? Yeah. It'll make it really thin. But yeah, I mean, it'll always give it some, it'll give it a little different effect. I mean, there's some people that only do ocean and resin art with um, torches. For me, unless I'm doing a torch and tilt, um, I don't try to get waves and cells with a torch because it's real easy to scorch your resin. What do you think about doing um, that wet, just clear? Excuse me? Just clear wave, like it came up and came back. Right here? Yeah. I can do one of those. Um, I'll have to make more resin. Well, then don't do that, because it's, it's good right now. I wouldn't do that. This, this end down here seems very textured with resin. It is. It's real thin. Yeah. You love that spring. 
He's gonna pick it up, put it in the ball pit, and just leave it there because he doesn't really care about it. He just doesn't want the cat to play with it. All right, so um, this is gonna be our new shirt design. And what I think I wanna do is we're gonna do it in black and gold. Um, on t-shirts and I'm thinking v-necks depending on the price because we don't want these shirts to go up too much in price because the gold is going to be foil so it'll be nice and shiny so shiny um, and also on the hoodies but I really want um, the one the hoodies with the foil probably be a little bit more expensive as well um, so I'll probably do black and gold and then a black and white. I would love to see a red and gold. Ooh. If enough people order them, it really depends. Um, but I love, love, love this. Um, and then what we'll do is this will go on the back and then the ATD logo will go on the hood. And then probably uh, the B with Artist Till Death underneath it on the front right here in the pocket. What's up, babe? You don't want to be done? I know I need to be. I think you need a teeny line coming squiggle up down there in the negative. Unless you like it like that. I feel like it's kind of balanced with the matte and the shiny solid. But... I'm open for suggestions. Jimmy Johnson said it looks beautiful, awesome. Jimmy Johnson said, E, did you receive my text last week? Oh, probably. I apologize. With my Jimmy tooth Jimmy issues, I haven't, um, I haven't looked at emails or texts that much so that's my fault uh, but I'll get to them I'm sure I got it I just need to look at it yeah Be before you get into that where you can look at this in person give me some thoughts careful the tip's hot mm. it's gonna need a flood coat because that texture is poking up in some areas mm -hmm. And I think on the flood coat, I can put another wave right here. You know what I mean? Kind of like that one. The That's blue. A, yeah. Yeah. That'll look nice. I love that. That was so awesome. So are you good with not putting anything right here? Or do you want me to... I, I feel like there should be just a teeny line. Just a little wave. Because that's there's so much there. And then it's just... I don't know. What do the people say? Susan Campbell said, Erica doesn't seem happy. It's a lot more than I in, in, intended. She, uh, yeah. You know, anytime it isn't what you have in mind, even though I completely advocate not having something in mind when doing resin art, because then you end up in a situation like I'm in right now. It and then. There's a little tiny wave. The next thing that happens when you're in this position that I'm in is you'll mess it up because you keep fiddling with it. The back end of the piece is what you see, like it's, it's cut off, like it's, that's the whole piece. Like, 
lift that camera up so they can understand what I'm talking about. Like, it doesn't go just directly to the edge. Like, it's, it's cut off. I could see something like this being like a behind the couch piece, like a 36 by 48. Oh yeah. Or 48 by 60. All right, so it can sense the, what everyone is trying to say is I need to put one right here or back here. Clara, thank you Clara. Clara said, you do you, Erica, you got this. Oh, thanks Clara. I seen it. Huh? B, where did you want the line? Just there. Just there. closer to this side or closer to the corner? Just right in the middle, I guess. Just a little. Maybe like kind of more. Not necessarily straight across, but kind of up at an angle. <clears throat> Just really thin. A full line or a half line? More full, I guess. Figured out how to do smoke, but I like it. It looks so fun. It looks like smoke. Oh, Went on a ride, kids. That's so fun. Just add a little harder, more than just push it. I mean, I'm okay with it like that unless you want me to add another hard line. Because the thing is, if I add another hard line and push it, it's gonna make this wave grow. And your do a little wave back there thing, it's gonna be out the window. I need to repeat myself. Yeah, just leave it. It looks good. Yeah, Emma, that's what she plans on doing. She goes, could you only use white and then flood coat with a tiny hint of blue? That's what we're gonna do. Rachel says, I think it's perfect as is. Yeah, we have those coasters we painted. I guess we're not going to use those. I can. I mean, clear left, so they're going to have those on. What is that? Look at that, Texas. Look at that. You can see the reflection. What is that? Molotol? Mm hmm. Y'all, that Molotol. 
Silver is no joke. That's crazy. Alright. Alright, so I guess she's done. I was gonna do those coasties if you wanted. Well we have no we have no resin. I have resin, it's just clear. I mean it's just no clear. Oh. It, it's blue. I have blues and whites. Okay, well you can do a couple of those. Yeah, I can't. Alright, so I guess we're going to do a couple of clears. Well, instead of that... I look so tan in this camera. I like this camera better. <laughs> I need to turn that down a little bit, it looks like. What is that? This is that though. Look how tan I look. <laughs> Forget until we're painting, we don't need to resurface the mystery zone. No, and that's terrible because that really affects that. All right, all right. so um, she's going to, uh, I think she's going to do a couple of these uh, Black Beach coasters. Um, and I guess what I'm here to do is to talk to you all about what Nene just put up. And that is join us July 25th for ATD Pour With Us class. Learn how to make a geode resin pour on a square cradle board. Um, Basically what you do is you buy the kit, you tune in July 25th when we're live at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I think that's like... I don't know what that translates to in other parts of the world. Florida, like 6 o'clock California or something. Is this in frame? Okay, Jeff, did you say that was a beach or are you taking it back? What? I don't know. I don't understand what you mean, Shane. Oh, do you want that? <laughs> do you want that piece? Hey, Teresa, what's up? Hey, TG. Um, are these in frame? No. I was just in, uh, need to, uh, all right, that's pretty good. I really want to turn this camera around. So you can see that up close. Why is that so... It's getting darker here, so I have to continually turn these up. Do we show them how the last ocean, the sandy coasters turned out? Where'd you get that silver? It looks awesome. Um, yeah, Sabrina, we got it on. Uh, we got it on Amazon. I have it in our links. You, you can find it. Oh yeah, thank you, Clara. Um, you get your front spot to get you. Um, no, I, I should get it either Tuesday or Wednesday. I had to send back my 15, 15 teeth uh, back, what is that, three wheel, because it didn't fit, it didn't fit my wheel. So I'm hoping that this uh, 39 teeth bigger sprocket will give me a little bit more power. I'm not pedaling as fast, I'm not really going as fast. 
All right, so these ones have only the blue resin, some out of clear. So you're gonna see a little bit more blue in this one. Than Terry one. says, all I need now for the class is the gold chrome, but it says it's unavailable. What can I use as a sub? Oh, are you on Amazon right now, Terry? Or are you just thinking of something you might have in the home? You can use uh, Mayron. Mayron will be fun with that. It's not as shiny though, right? The thing is, I'm dropping liquid gold directly uh, on it. So send me a message and um, I'll send you a vial of it. We have some. Yeah, you can, you can, if you can find uh, Montana's gold, black label, that yeah. stuff is amazing. It's very similar. Waves. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, Terry, if you can find like a local graffiti store, um, like a head shop with graffiti supplies in it, they might have it. I, I, I've, uh, the last gold I got was from there. At the very least, you could use that gold rust -oleum as well. Yeah. I mean, that's what we first started using before we found the Molotov. Or the Montana. MCAT said, you need to make a white platypus attachment from the aluminum soil next time. <laughs> We can make it out of something. Just maybe gonna... I can make it out of, uh, maybe I can make it out of like poster board and then just wrap aluminum foil around it. Let's just pick up Bowie's fan. You torch and I'll push it with the fan. Did you hear me? What's up, Carrie, huh? You torch it and I'll use Bowie's fan to push it. Okay, so back to the class. <laughs> um, you have until the twentieth to buy the geo kit because we take it off. We take it off the website um, on the twentieth because we want to make sure that it has time to get to where we live. Um, we encourage the whole family. We just encourage it to be ages thirteen and up. Um, because there is very sticky residue involved and there's some sort of fire or intense heat. So you wanna make sure those are supervised. Um, and the kit comes with everything you need. We use Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat and our Cradle Board. Um, all skill levels welcome. Everybody's welcome to join this. Pretty much all of our all of our core with us is, uh, is all skill levels. Um, we might do an airbrush one, but we have to make sure everybody has an airbrush first and knows how to use it. We don't want, we don't want uh, somebody that's brand new and then them not be able to keep up and then, you know, that's not fun for that person. So we probably want to make sure everybody's a little bit experienced with the airbrush if we ever do that. Oh, 
Terry said I ordered everything separately on your site instead of the kit because I had most items already. I just bought the cradle board from you a few days ago. Yeah, you're always welcome to do that. And if you already have even everything already, then just tune in and pour along with us. If you're just we using... Can put some of that, we can put some of that metallic, some of that gold in. Have you sent his cradle boards? Terry's? Yeah. Um, I don't know, but if I haven't sent your order out already, Terry, I can just send you a vial of the gold with it. Dang it, I think I got my whites backwards. Monogramming plus. Says, do you guys give away paints or pigments you don't use or don't like? I'm just starting out just asking. Um, most of the stuff that we give away is for like prizes. Um, there's times where we put stuff in people's kits that purchase stuff from us. Yeah, I like a little can, don't I? <laughs> I love this camera right here. Um, Lisa Ramsey says, I got the airbrush on the Amazon list. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the condenser doesn't keep water from flowing through the nozzle. Oh, you need a uh, you need a moisture trap. You need a moisture trap that goes uh, like you need a hose from your compressor to the moisture trap, and then so it's like I'll show you. Oh my God, the chair! Why? You guys have seen me deal with this chair for a year now. And now it's acting up again. So shoot me a message if you want to, and um, I can send you some resin. That'll help you out. So I need to show you guys. So I put my whites in reverse order on this set. So I had to go back in and put white on the opposite side. So this is one where I had the wrong white in front. And so when I pushed it back, it didn't work, which is that one. So on the rest of these, I added the right white in front because the base has to be under the other colors. So then I got the right cells on this one. This one I had already done before I corrected it. So you can see why you need the base to be under your other colors. Because if your base is on top, it'll look like this. If your base is below your other colors, it'll look like this. Are they in frame? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna try to correct this. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is the hose from the compressor. And when you get this, try to get a regulator and a moisture trap together. They should, normally if you buy this on Amazon, it'll say, when buying this, this is what you bought. But if not, just look for just like related recommendations yeah. it's just a moisture trap all the fittings are all the same for pretty much everything but, uh, three quarter i believe don't quote me because i'm sure about that um, but you need this is the air this this one right here and it has directions like it has a little arrow you can see that little arrow this way and then on top of that it goes this way so the air goes in, so the air brush closes. And I have two set up on this, so. Um, but yeah, definitely get a moisture trap. They're super inexpensive too, so are these. not going to do it right because I got the colors mixed up. Oh well.
You can have the cameras now. We take these to our dust free zone. Um, no, we don't do. When your alcohol inks are dry, you can yeah. spray the... If you're using a heat gun to dry it, they dry immediately. You can spray the varnish on there and then wait like five minutes, ten minutes. Use your heat gun to dry that and then you can put epoxy over them. All right, that was my brother. His brother's playing with alcohol inks. Oh my god. <laughs> MCAT just sent me an attachment. <laughs> I, I bet that would work, but I don't know if it, uh, if it would push that much air through it. You know what we probably could use is uh, we have one of those uh, wet dry vacs and you can use it as like a vacuum or you can use it as air. I bet that would work. <laughs> we'll have to check that out. Thanks, MCAT. That was great. <laughs> Don't swipe at me, little girl cat. Crazy. Did you change the angle of the camera yet? No, still looking at you and me. I'm about to clean this up and I don't need to see this table that we're working on until it's finished. Alright. Alright, check this out. This is the gold if you guys didn't see it. Hopefully this is what our shirts and our hoodies will look like with the gold. This breed miss. I would love, love, love that. You're okay, baby. Thank you, Twisted Art Lady. Have a good night. Have an awesome night, Sam. Carrie Hicks said, Jeff, which gold are you using for the class? Can I purchase separately? It's right there. This is what we use for the class. It's Montana's gold. Um, I don't know if you sell it separately, but... I don't have it on the website, but I can list it. Look at that. You have to shake it up quite a bit if you're using it raw like this. This is basically gold spray paint. Good night, Amy. Thank you.
so um, we'll just say goodbyes on this one. Um, thanks for joining us. Thanks for always joining us. Um, we try to we try to make it fun and new and at least a refreshing, entertaining. And we appreciate you guys showing it up and you you're the reason why we keep going because if you didn't show up then we'd be like mm, nobody's going to show up why do it and then you know we probably still a little bit but <laughs> you guys are guy. you guys are a, a big reason why we show up every day um, we never thought of that y'all yeah no cat oh what's he doing Chewing on a paper towel. She likes water. Yeah, that's a. She's a weirdo, man. That cat is weird. Here. Ooh, it looks like they got sunburn. <laughs> oh, it's worse up close. <laughs> Emma said, "I'd rather watch you guys than Netflix." <gasps> that's sweet. Maybe Netflix, if you're watching, we need a deal. Uh, I don't want to be on that list. Evelyn loves the red shirt. PT time to have you done. Y'all are amazing. I tried last weekend for this first time and it was a flop. Now I know what I did wrong. As long as you know what you did wrong, you can always make necessary adjustments. This is our uh, coaster we did, but with the sand being regular. That's what it looks like without the black spray paint on it. Looks awesome. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. I love my corona shirt. We appreciate it, you guys. If you really want to help us out, share your favorite of our videos with your friends and family and everyone that you even don't share. like on Facebook. Because one, we need to spread art, not hate. And two, sure. that should be a shirt. And three, it helps us out a lot. It helps us to grow. You can totally be on Netflix. Hi, Don Parker. Our day is in murder. If you're interested in any of this uh, paint that we use or turtle boards or any anything, you can find it on our website, artistaldev.com. I have it linked down in the description box below this video. Um, I'll probably try to add the liquid gold 20 ml vials um, to the website tonight. If you guys still need it, you have time to order from us to have it in time for the club. Anyways, I gotta take these boys out because we're gonna have a little mini stroke if I don't get with it. Check out Sure Camp online. Good prices, and you guys get the next day for your merchandise. What is it called? Shirt Camp? We'll check it out. Thank you, Monogramming Plus. Do you do monogramming? We would like some monogram hats, maybe. With the B. Maybe. The ATD in the B. ATD in the B. What do, you, what do you think about that? That would be fun to monogram on a hat. Here's your this. Yeah. All right, boys. Hold on. All of our cats carry around rocks. Anyone else? Free. Maddie Five, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Nay, nay, it's, gonna, it's our next shirt. It's going to be our next shirt. We have black. We're going to do black with gold foil. So it should be awesome. Um, so, yeah. You guys are awesome. We're going to head on out of here. Probably go for a walk with the pups. It looks super nice outside. Um, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Sunday. We might go early Sunday. Sunday is always one of those catch you at 1 p.m. maybe who knows it might be at 8 p.m. who knows um, but yeah 
You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. Kind of one another. But you never know what space going to do. You guys have an awesome Saturday night. Uh, keep your six feet, wash your hands, smile, answer a question. What do you guys think about that? It's good? It's good. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I said bye.